Welcome to Textiles GCSE. In this course we will learn a lot about materials and their properties. We will learn about the impact that these materials have on the environment and we'll also look at the textiles industry. The two stores that we're going to look at are Primark and Zara because they are fast fashion sto stores and they uh, do have a major impact on the environment. And we've also chosen two designers to have a look at. We're going to look at Chanel and we're going to look at Vivian Westwood, particularly because she is a great environmentalist and does do an awful lot of uh, campaign work. OK, so let's have a look at the overview of the course. The course is assessed in two parts. 50% of the assessment will form a two hour exam. And the other 50% is your coursework project which we'll probably spend most of year 11 doing. The exam paper is 50% of your GCSE and it'll be two hours long and you will set it in the June of year 11. Those who are studying on the same exam board and we're using AQA, it doesn't really matter which design technology subject you, are, you have chosen you will set exactly the same exam paper. So the resist material people, the graphics people, the product design people, if they're using AQA, they will all set exactly the same exam paper. And we'll have a look at the exam in a little bit more detail in the next slide. Right, so section one. Section one is just 20% of the exam. And it's quick short answer questions and mainly multiple choice questions. And as you can see from this slide, um, it's a quick overview of everything really to do with design and technology. And that's why it's called core technical principles. So we will be looking at papers, boards, wood, metal, plastic, um, and indeed textiles. And we'll be looking at the properties of materials, developments in new materials, smart materials, We'll look a lot at the environment and we will be looking at energy as well. A lot of this you will have been introduced to during uh, Key Stage 3 in all of your topics, so it should be familiar to you. Then the next two sections, which are um, Section 2 and 3. Um, section 2 is about 30% of the exam, and that's looking at specialist technical principles, where you will be looking at forces and stresses, the sources and origins of materials, and you'll also be looking at using and working with materials. All of the questions in this section can be answered using textiles as your example material to help justify your answers. And then if you look again on the right hand side of the slide you'll see part three. This is actually 50% of the exam. And um, the first sort of question in this section will be a big product analysis question and it won't necessarily be a textiles product. It could be a school stacking chair, it could be an Apple Watch, but it's the principles of design that you're going to be examined on. Okay. And then on to the coursework. The coursework again is 50% of your GCSE. It'll take about 35 school hours to complete, which if you take citizenship and those sorts of days out of the um, out of the timetable, you'll end up maybe studying straight from September to the beginning, end of March, completely doing coursework. There's actually only about 35 uh, lessons uh, during that time. So that's, as I said, it's 50% of your GCSE. 80% of that uh, coursework is a, a big design and research folder and 20% goes towards the product that you have made. Okay, And that's basically what you'll be doing in year 11. Okay, so let's have a look a little closer at what we're actually going to do during year 10. So in year 10, the first project we're going to do is called Dress a Girl Around the World. And this is a real charity. Um, they make a simple dress to send to uh, girls in poverty all around the world. And the charity's aim is to send brand new dresses to girls living in poverty in the hope that they will look well cared for and then be less likely to be trafficked. 
So the skills you learn whilst you're making these dresses are binding, elastication, applique, the use of paper templates and garment construction particularly. We're going to have a look at French seams. So that will take us up until after uh, October half term. Then, and this is uh, some of the dresses that the girls last year made and we sent off to the charity to be distributed around the world. Then term two, we're going to upcycle some clothes. So this will be prior to Christmas. So you can choose if you want to make Christmas gifts or we can upcycle some um, of your old clothes. But the idea is, um, first of all, to learn about the environmental impact of textiles, uh, which will be actually tested in your GCSE exam. And then we'll build on your uh, construction skills. We're gonna try and do a little bit of 3D construction. We'll do some piping, we'll insert zips, and then we'll do some deconstruction exercises as well, which are again, really useful for your coursework. Um, the photos below have inspired this term's work. This girl has made a business upcycling childhood duvets. So if you do have a beloved duvet that's too childish for your bed, bring it in and we can upcycle it. I did try to go and buy some duvets from charity shops to do this project, but um, because they're children's duvets and with fire safety laws and stuff, they're not allowed to sell them. But by all means, bring your own in and we can think of creative things to do with them. So that'll take us up to Christmas. And then in term three, we're going to spend the whole of term three getting a lot of the exam theory under our belt. So um, it'll include some uh, practical elements. So it's not just sitting with uh, me uh, teaching you and you doing uh, answering questions and things like that all the time. We will learn some things. We need to learn how to do different types of pleats. We need to learn how to do gathering, darts. I want to teach you how to do stenciling, tie-dye, batik. So you will spend... Um, at least one hour a week doing some practical work as well okay and that will take us up to February half term and then in terms four and five we're going to do a bag with an Indian theme okay again you will be building your skills on research and design development so this will also have a, a quite a big design folder accompanying the bag and um, you will uh, learn how to construct a 3D bag with a gusset in it and fully lined. And also the theme gives you the chance to practice many surface decorations and to learn some new ones. Um, this project will act as a practice piece of coursework before you actually start your real thing. And here are some uh, pictures. Here are some pictures of um, bags that students have made. So you can see the lovely detailed and embroidery there on the front of the mandala. She's had some piping in it. Then she's done some quilting on the back. Uh, this next one is, um, we've got some elephants spraying water on each other with pipe pipe bag. This is a little small clutch bag. And the next one's a circular bag. Really lovely detailed applique and um, it's fully lined on the inside as well. And this one, uh, she's used the paisley motif and she's fully lined the bag and she's got um, again the plaited strap so that's just an idea of some of the bags that the students have made and that now takes us on to term six so in the four weeks before you go and work experience in year 10 you will start the research section of your coursework and um, the topics will be chosen by the exam board and they are released on the first of june each year and you choose one topic out of the three, and that would be the theme you'll work on in your coursework throughout year 11. And these topics are below providing a safe and comfortable home, working towards a sustainable future, or a high profile activity or occasion, are the subjects that the students used last year. And they made all sorts of things. A lot of students made bags for going to a prom. Um, some people made uh, products completely out of recycled materials. So the, the challenges are quite open and it gives you plenty of scope to come up with something that you're actually interested in. Okay, so what can you do to prepare for studying GCSE textiles? Well, YouTube is fantastic. There are lots and lots of really useful clips and videos on YouTube. 
And another movie, which I know at the moment it's definitely on Netflix and I think it's on Amazon Prime as well. I'm not sure if it's free or not, but have a look. We got two copies of this movie in the library as well that you can, uh, to DVDs, if you still use a DVD player at home. And it's called Coco Before Chanel. And it really uh, helps you to understand where Chanel was coming from and why she was so groundbreaking because she was trying to create um, simple garments that didn't constrain women um, and it reflected how constrained she was when she was young. Uh, she couldn't get a business started herself without a, a man to get her a loan and uh, it really opened your eyes to the struggle she had to start her business. It's a very good movie. Um, then if you look at the little short like three minute uh, videos on YouTube called The Making of Chanel and they go through many years of spring and summer collections, autumn winter collections, but it's a close up showing you the detailed work that goes into Chanel's collections and they really make you appreciate the skills that are involved in haute couture. Also, Vivian Westwood, we can't forget about her. Uh, there are so many biopics and videos uh, centered around video, Vivian Westwood's collections and her campaigns and her involvement with punk. So um, if you have a look through some of those, it will really help you to familiarize yourself with both her and her work. And then there's some really good environmental uh, videos you can watch, like for example, White Gold, The True Cost of Cotton. It's only a seven minute uh, video, but it really opens your eyes to uh, the environmental issues around cotton, which we would have touched on in year seven. And also you can watch uh, a new uh, video that's been put on by Patagonia. Uh, a fantastic forward-thinking American uh, outdoor wear company. They make fleeces and, and hiking gear. And um, they, they have a new video I called Why Recycle? Know How Your Clothes Are Made. So that's worth watching. And then just keep an eye out on the news for any environmental stories related to the clothing industry. And that will give you a good idea of um, some of the elements of the GCSE course. So um, I hope you enjoy your summer. And I'm looking forward to starting the course with you in September.